I've actually never played Scrabble. Not even on the phone? Because no. he's, not, he's, he's not sophisticated like us. Yeah. Not even you play Scrabble phone. a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too, kids, me yeah. too. So Channa, you make, make a word, did you? Yeah. Want me to make a word? Yeah. I, I want everybody to make a word once we get some new letters and things like that. Micah, I'm you gonna lose anyway, man. Nah. I'm gonna put my... Wait, how can What's you What's that, put... bro? That's, That's a blank, you can, That's make, blank. That you can make that anything. You can make that anything. I need to live the way I live. Ooh. That's a, so how many points would that word be? Wow. That stripper. <laughs> be a whole like, bunch. Is that a good one? That's a good one. That's a so good stripper one. Goes. Yeah. I yeah, like yeah, yeah. I do that too. I get the I get the big words because then you get more letters. So, you get more so, letters. It's, so it's my turn or my turn though. How does it go? Uh, it just depends. It's, it's your mic turn. Yeah, we got it right around there. I told you I want some new letters, bro. Bro, play the letters you got, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no heat. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. He got eight. He got eight letters. You know I'm supposed I to have eight. How I, I got this. six. You supposed to have seven. See, you see, I'm already at a disadvantage. Get you eight. What you got? Nothing. How is Micah an intellectual? He can't even put a word down. Hold because on. Because he's strategically placing. Yeah, because you don't want to open things up too much. Mm -hmm. So that you gotta play defense but offense at the same time. Same time. See, you, you're a simpleton. It'll buy it. It'll buy it. Okay. I'm going to just have to do this right here. Something like that, man. Just get that, them extra points. Mm-hmm. See, that'll be cool right there. Just how I can make. So it's extra point because he made it with another word? The double word. Okay. The double word, yeah. All right, Fred, go ahead, man. It doesn't matter which order, right? Let's see. So y'all have not played Scrabble before? I've never played Relax, Scrabble. Relax. Y'all have not played Scrabble? That's what that's y'all's problem. That never played Scrabble? That's y'all's problem. That has nothing to this do with your, life. This is your problem right here, Chan. Just for the hell of it. Thank you. I agree. Fucking hater. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I'm gonna hate you. I agree with that. Okay, let's see. Freaking let's hater. See here. Hold on. Can't do that. Why can't I do that? The S's. The S's That's can't not go a word. Together? You gotta play playable bass. words. Yeah, I mean, yeah, is you spelling something at the end of it? Yeah, can I, spell okay. it? Can I finish the word? Okay, I'm just making sure. Uh oh, uh oh, there we go. Get him, Micah. Playing, I'm just making sure you're playing right. He playing defense before I'm even playing offense. So who's winning right now? Is I, am I winning? Seven, we need Ain't nobody goals. winning because there was words already on the board. I feel like we should just restart. No, they set this up for y'all to come in here and try to jump on me. Right out the gate. Yeah. Right out the gate, dog. It's our show. It ain't your show. Nah, because we didn't even count his points, and then, you know what I mean? We ain't... Bro, you are really serious about, like, board games. Yeah, like, y'all y'all in the crib, like, I can't have people on TV thinking y'all won just, like... <laughs> like, I want, like, I tell people, like, when you come to my crib, like, you're going to lose. That's how you feel about AT&T Stadium, too? Yeah, that's how I feel about AT&T Stadium, too. Hold up. Limitless. Take a simmer guy pinning it. I thought they hear the witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, get me up. Uh, on the mission, get me up. Uh, knowing me, I got the key. Uh, on the vision, I can trust. Uh, trust. Uh, limitless. Take a simmer guy pinning it. I thought they hear the witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Uh, Way I'm feeling, get me up. Uh, on the mission, get me up. Uh, knowing me. Well, shoot, man, we beat you in Scrabble already, so <laughs> I guess it's not really, it's not really introduction need to be made. You know what I'm saying? We got Freaky Freddy, him. Uh, to my right, uh, Michael Parsons. Uh, we're in your house. Welcome, you, 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 you said you said other people. You said other people don't win in your house. No. But we won, right? Who no. Won? This is a half game where he had eight letters already. <laughs> right. You didn't have enough letters, but there's words that was played that he had about ten letters. Yeah. <laughs> I had like five, so I didn't have the right amount of letters when I came into this. They were handpicked. Right. He had big letters. He had big letters. Like he don't had the K and put on a triple letter, so he probably got twenty points right there. Right. So it's basically it's basically like it's a, a fixed pick. game, so that way y'all can come in and feel good. Y'all keep smiling and enjoy the well, show. Well, you know what? Wait, wait, hey, we the old dudes though, Mike. You know, sometimes man, you got to do this for the old dudes. It's like growing up make in Pennsylvania feel good. and being a Cowboys fan. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't make no sense. You know, a lot of things don't make sense in life, but it do at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> How was that, man, being drafted to, like, I saw the emotion. We obviously all watched the draft. The type of emotion you had uh, when the Cowboys called your name, when you picked up that phone uh, and they let you know 
uh, you were going to be their first pick. Was it Jerry that called you? Yeah. What was yeah. that emotion like? It's crazy because, like, I was hyped, bro. I was like, as soon as I saw the star, I was like, finally, bro. Because, you know, those who don't know, like, when you're in that first round slot, like, they give you wild numbers. They could be like, you go from 6 to 15 or so We don't know. Fred knows. Oh. Us two? Yeah, we, we I was third know. round. And, I didn't get drafted. And they didn't even okay. think about him, bro. <laughs> yeah, they, well, you know, yeah, like, yeah. you you yeah. in that room, the, like, you like. The only difference is I didn't go to New York. Uh, yeah. Or I didn't go in the room because I was afraid to be embarrassed. Because as you were trying to mention, mm -hmm. you know, if you, they say you're projected to go top five. Right. And then when you're 55, yeah. you're sitting there like, you sweating bullets, mm -hmm. guys are looking around. And there around was somebody that happened like that. You know, he got invited to the draft right. and didn't get taken to the second day. So were, were you nervous, though? Because like I you say, nervous. you had a, like people were talking about you top five, especially after the pro day, all that stuff. But you did opt out, too. You know what I mean? So it was a wide mm -hmm. range. Uh, was was it exciting though? Did, right. and, and it felt right for everybody. Like I was just super nervous. Like, like you can't. Like I can't even describe the emotion. Like my heart was pumping. Like I was racing. Like, cause like everything was like, if he go, like I remember like at the pro day, the lines was like, man, if you on the clock, we taking you. So I'm like, man, like I can end up being in line right now. So you know, days before the draft, well, you know, word get out that the Bengals are gonna take Jamar instead of Panay. So Lions was like, well, if Panay on here, he could be a generational lineman, so we got to take him to protect the quarterback, which make a lot of sense because lineman probably has a lot more value than linebacker if you look at if you only playing like one position. So I was like, damn, could go like that. And then I heard Vic like really loved me, and you know, um, he liked me. How could you be middle? Big Panthers, outside. you talking about? From yeah, Denver? yeah. So he was in love with me, and then the Panthers was like, I ain't really have a relationship with them. Then the Giants was like, man, if you fall to 11, you for sure coming to us. Like, I'm like, all right, man, like, we're going to see how this go. So, right. boom, Jamar go. I was like, dang, I already know they're going to take Panay, so I'm not even worried. People prank calling you, you know what I mean? So you like, <laughs> bro, like, you know, people are sick like that. They was prank calling my phone, like, no call ID. I'm like, man, what the heck? Like, what's wrong with people? Yeah. So then when I saw that star pop up on my phone and Dallas was up, I was like, Bro, thank God, like, that, cause I was like one of the places I wanted. I wanted to be in New York or Dallas, mm -hmm. but Dallas was like my dream spot, just cause you know taxes and all that other stuff. <laughs> that, <laughs> right. You know about, about taxes you already? already yeah. On. Like I even told my financial advisor, like it was crazy, cause I spoke to. I was like, bro, three weeks before the draft, I was like, bro, I don't care if I go to Detroit. I'm not. I would never buy a crib out there, but I want to live in Dallas. So I want to start, you know, putting everything in my name in Dallas already. And then I ended up going here, so I didn't have to do all that. Oh, so you was, you was gonna try to move here anyway? Yeah. Okay. What for, the, for the taxes. Yeah. But where, well, young dudes don't know about yeah, that, Freddie. Right. Young where, dudes where don't know start? about. Like, where, where, how the hell you knew about taxes? Was it something you guys did at Penn State or a family member? Yeah, or? I, like so during my time at Penn State, I used to take like different classes, like uh, business management. I used to take like leadership classes, and I used to have like. You know, I used to have a lot of mentors like LeVar and things like yeah. that. So LeVar done told me every mistake he done made in the book. So I said, man, I can't make the same mistakes as him. So right. um, he kind of told me like the mistakes he had made and things like that. And, you know, I kind of do my own thing too. Like guys on the team call me cheap as hell all the time. It was like, you can't be like that. I was like, no, I could be like that. Like I'm real, real stingy with the money. So, yeah, smart, um, you know, I was like, man. I, Cause I, like they already hit me, I'd be like, damn, bro. But mine's not even as bad as other people's. But yeah, I do a lot of like stuff on my own. Speaking of mistakes, you're a rookie. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest mistake? Cause you make a lot of them, right? Yeah. But what's your biggest that mistake? I made in the game or yeah, just your rookie season? Anything you can just go yeah, back. It can be life, pick, life whatever yeah, it might yeah. be. It's a transition, bro. From what, what we, where we, you were in Penn State to now, it's a yeah. big transition. Because we always mm -hmm. try to give back on this show. Mm -hmm. You try to make it a cultural show, yeah. but our experiences and letting everybody that watches the show just really tap into the things we've done. Because we have a lot of sport parents and yeah, and I watch our show. Like because of what you said, what happened to you in Miami it allowed me to say no to people real close to me. Yeah. And, you know, it actually did break relationships down. And, uh, you know, it ain't nothing that I regret. But I don't, let me think of, like, a mistake I made, like. Has this has this year been difficult for you in any way, right? Longer season, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you opt out, so you hadn't played. You know what I mean? You've played multiple positions. 
You know what I'm saying? The you, wall do hit. The, the wall rookie, do hit. Rookie wall. Yeah. But Infamous. you get to choose to let the wall, uh, like take a like take over you. Mm-hmm. Like I would say, my wall didn't hit to like last week to this week. Okay. Getting ready for this game, cause it don't start hitting because everybody playing football and everything good. But see, when I had got COVID and I I missed the game, I was like, damn, like I'm, I'm enjoying my time and your homeboys. Start sending you snaps like, "Hey, I'm in Atlanta right now." Like, <laughs> right, right. I'm like, right. "Damn!" I said, "They start I got, the off season." Yeah, I got a padded practice next week. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I was like, "Shoot, bro!" But there's a, there's a bunch bigger picture to like why you still practicing and mm-hmm. things like that. But I mean, when you see everybody else, you know, enjoying the off season already, you definitely kind of feel into that trap. Ain't you can't. Nothing over it, it's vicious. And then also, I would say the rookie wall is like, I'm getting a different level of coaching right now. Mm-hmm. See, things that I was able to do in like week five, week six, they getting like more hard on me because obviously they see the potential, but you know, uh, like they want to be harder on me so that way I don't like, I get better from it though. Right. So and like it was hard for me to take it at first because I was like, I was mentally getting defeated because I'm like, man, why are they doing this now? Like I was like cool the whole time and now like y'all want to be extra. The stakes are higher. How about the stakes? That's, and that's it too. Like, and I was talking to D. Ware. I yep. spoke to him. I'm like, man, they they punished me. I feel like they punished me um, and things like that. He was like, nah, bro. The stakes is higher. Like everything on the line. Like yeah. this this playoff run could dictate your future three years from now. You don't even yeah. know it yet. When it's well, also for, also the, the big but, thing is too. When when your team wins, right? Like like say y'all go to the Super Bowl, everybody gets paid, mm-hmm. right? There, there, there's so many times because people want winners on their team. They want people and players that's experienced certain things. But there's been a ton of players in this league who've gotten overpaid in free agency mm-hmm. or teams that sought them out because they were on teams that won. And you got to realize, like you wanted to come to Dallas and you thought about the the, the state tax. The thing about Dallas is, bro, it's football is different here. Right, y- y'all, y'all are a whole different brand. This team ain't won a championship in a quarter century, and this team worth over five billion dollars. Man, this I didn't realize how much people love football until I came here. Mm-hmm. Like that was probably a mistake I made. Like when I came here, like I thought I could just blend in. Like I think I ain't had to be with nobody, no security, no nothing. Like now everywhere I go, everybody recognizes me now. Like I think that was the biggest mistake. Like. I was trying to be like everybody else when I first got here. I wanted to be out and do all this. And then people be in your face. Like, I think that's like one of the mistakes. Like, I ain't realized my surroundings as well, my awareness as they should have been. And, you- and, and with, 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 your, with your assignment, like you said, defensively with your assignment, and we all know that they, you know, they played you off the ball. And you know what I'm saying? You were playing different linebacker positions. But once they let you go get it, once they let you say that dude with the ball, go get him. And that's, then you started to thrive, bro. You damn near broke Javon Kirsch record. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know who Javon Kirsch is? No, nah, but I did my research after, like, when people was like, you got a chance Monster. to break. He's a freak. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a freak. Yeah. And he had 13. Oh, 14 and a half, sorry. You got 13. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you, I ain't even won it the last week. You know what I mean? You won it in had, 16. I won it in 16. Yeah. Because to me, I'm a competitor, bro. Like, there ain't nothing like them beating somebody when you should beat them. Like, do you, I wanted do you to think? Do you think if you rushed more this year, right? Because because your rush rate is lower half of all the top guys. You think if you rushed more, if you continue, if, if, if D-Law stays out or Randy isn't, isn't back and you play more D-in, do you think you break the record though in 16? Yeah, for sure. Do, do you ever think about that? Like, is, do you, would you rather play rush in over backer? I, just, I, just, I always say it depends on the game. Like, when I'm playing a team like the Niners this week, I want to be off ball because I know it's going to be run, run, run. I can go sideline to sideline. Now, when you playing an AFC team, like the Chiefs and the Raiders, you know they're going to put that ball in the air 30 to 40 times a game. The right. run is, you know, here and there, chew clock a little bit, but they're going to put that ball in the air more. But when you playing teams like that, you want to go. And I think that was a tough pill for me because, you know, when they were out, it was like, Mike, you got to be the guy. Like, you got to get the quarterback. And I was like, okay, like, I do it. So I was getting, like, 30 rushes a game. But then when they came back, I was probably getting a little bit less than half of that. So I was like, damn, like, you know, I realized my role had got decreased um, for the betterment of the team, which I get. It's all about the team and the winning. So, you know, I ain't never complaining about it. But that was a, a pill I had to take because I felt like I had to get knocked down a little bit just so, you know, uh, Everybody could be on the field at the time. 
and that transition, for you to recognize what you had to do at Penn State, they got you drafted, and you bald, bro. Like I said, my dad played at Penn State. I watched you your whole career. From LeVar to Brandon Short to yeah. all the dudes that played at Penn State, bro, if dog linebackers at Penn State. Explain to young backers and young second, I'll say second level guys that come from a top D1 school to the league. What did you learn in this first year with that transition? I learned, you know, and I always tell this to everybody, you got to be able to be coachable and you got to be able to put in the extra time. In. And extra time, man, it's, it's not just looking at the iPad because the iPad, I could, I, you could just turn on your iPad and you don't really know what you're looking at. Yeah. So, you know, Every, almost every day, I could probably come in to like 45, 30 minutes early with the coach, and he watched film with me, and he helped me understand like what I'm looking at. Like, yeah. so no, it's, not, it's not about watching film, it's about studying it. It's studying, like, yeah. and like, I ain't never understand tendencies, I understand like my play rec, like, like now, I would say it's like through the roof. Like, mm -hmm. that's why I say like, I ain't really get going until like week six, week seven, because it take time to transition. Like you don't really know what you're looking at, and I didn't really understand it until like one day I was talking to coach. I was like, "Man, I'm just playing out there." He said, "I know you real good, and you don't even really know what you're seeing yet. But if you take one more step that you put into your preparation, you're gonna start playing better because that one step gonna be TFLs and sacks now. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as like he start really working with me, they start turning into TFLs and sacks now. And like to me. I always thought like, man, you make a lot of tags, you make a lot of plays, don't nobody really care, but it's the little things that they care about, which I always appreciate. It's always gonna be the little things. Remember you said a second ago, the coaches at this point, they're trying to add more to your plate. Mm -hmm. They know you're ready. Mm -hmm. They're gonna always come back and put pressure on you. A second ago, you talked about uh, the position you wanna play, if it's versus KC mm -hmm. or versus uh, San Fran, knowing where you wanna be at on the ball. So they're going to give you all those opportunities because you can see it, you can call it, you can get to it much quicker. Right. So they're going to put that pressure on you because the playoffs is a second season. Mm -hmm. So you're still in your rookie season, but the playoffs is right now for you, it's expedited into year two. So they expect you to be ready and not just be ready how you were in the middle of the season, but to carry this defense because yeah. they know you're the spark plug. That was really weighing down on me. But then after I was talking to D. Ware, and that's why I think mentorship is so crucial. Um, he's like, I understand. He's like, man, they just try to elevate you, and they understand what you can be. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, when we're young, we only think about what's in the moment. And yeah. I was, you know, everything moment right now, right now. And I'm not, I wasn't seeing nothing past that. And he's like, sometimes you really just gotta sacrifice your needs for your wants. I want to be good. Like I want to be great. So you know, I had to really sacrifice that. Put rub that stuff off my shoulder yeah. and really just started focusing in and, you know, just getting better. Yeah, and so when, when when you start to get to the point and, and you are making plays and, you know, the, the defensive play of the year, those type of conversations start to happen, is, are those things that motivated you or did they weigh on you and become kind of, kind of heavy because every week you're going out and trying to make those plays in hopes of getting those things? I would say a little bit of both. So... You know, I would say no and yes because sometimes, and as all players, you ride that borderline of chasing plays and making plays. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I might go out, may go out of a gap to see if I can make it just off of something I've seen. I feel like I could play it. Sometimes you make it, and sometimes you don't. And coach, if you make it, you ain't gonna say nothing. But sometimes you ride that borderline, and I found myself doing that towards the end. Like mm -hmm. I was like, man, I gotta have a good game if I want to keep sustaining what I'm doing. You never want to put yourself in a predicament where you're choosing yourself over the team. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you got to learn how to... How old are you? Uh, 22. Golly. Uh, so, hey. so even with that thought process, <laughs> young. do you put more stock into it on the field when you have that mindset or in film study? Uh, you got to do it to both. Because like, uh, I would say you got to have the awareness on the field to understand that. But then in the study room, you got to understand, like, all right, well, it, you got to understand when you could take your shot. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, and like, D. Ware was talking about, and that's when the tendencies can take. They're going to run, run, run. But they also, they ain't just going to run. They're going to play action. So yeah. maybe look at the tackle's foot or mm -hmm. look at where he put his hand compared to if he's really going to run it or if he's going to 
snap back. And mm -hmm. that's when you gotta know from get off and you could jump, play the man. Like you gotta learn how to, to read the man, not the ball. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what I started doing. I started like reading the man. Where you are in Dallas, understanding the brand, understanding how people look at the star. It is America's team, yeah. right? And now you guys are entering the playoffs. How important is this playoff run, not only to the team, but to you? Uh, it's important to me just because like, and I texted Trey right after that Eagles game. I said, bro, like we just became stars. Like that's cool. You talking about like, Trayvon Diggs? Yeah. Okay. I said, we just became stars and that's cool, but now we become legends. Like yeah. this is where legends is made. Like you talk about regular season, like any like, you know, there's, you look at like Reggie Miller, like those type of guys, like great players, but they don't never got these types. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between like stars. And let's just think about people would say LeBron can't be the greatest because he don't got that many of these. So I was like, bro, we got to really like put our all into this. So me and Trey always talk and like, we always try to talk about like, like this do, right do, here. And, well, you got a at 22 yeah. years old, you're already thinking about That's kind of wisdom, man. Yeah. Like you're thinking about rings. You're thinking about legacy at 22 years old. Yeah. Bro, when, it's your first year. Yeah. I was just trying to get a check, bro. <laughs> I was just excited about my check. And yeah, I, I appreciate you inviting us into this palace. Nah. <laughs> but I, I just, bro, but you, you don't just think about hey, this. Hey, you hey, think about Jen, that's the, good, that's the good thing bro. about Dallas now. I'm telling Even you. Even a frugal bro, man can get a nice I, house, you bro. Think about you can get this real nice. Because I get, like, anxious, bro. Like, like once I get some, I got it. Like, like I don't just, like... like Mm, I can't even like I don't like sometimes I get like like you ask anybody like once you get some it's like cool like I got it and you get a small moment of like joy so when I got got this crib from me and my mom like, I was like cool like this is cool but like now like I'm thinking you like already thought about upgrading yeah the like, day that you purchased this big ass <laughs> house bro you thought about upgrading it probably wasn't a day I let it yeah. sink in well, but when a couple days, months go days. by oh, okay. and then yeah. like. You know, when you start getting close, guys pull up at people. I'm like, about to say, you see crib. other people's houses different. You, you know how that is, Chad. I, yeah. I look at Dak's crib, right? And I pull up the Coop's crib, and I'm like, <laughs> "That's on the lake." Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you like that's six garages. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it's different. And, and you walk in the garage. It's not empty garages. You walk in and you see in double large rows. Right. I'm not saying things that you need, but you like, man, like I ain't really do nothing yet. I'm just yeah. in the door. So, um, you know, I'm just. That's why I say I'm always hungry. Like I'm hungry for more. Like I, I can't just like, I can't just stay place where I'm at. Like. Right. This can't be forever for me. Like I always gotta do more. Is it? Is it? Was it as much of a? Cause we talked about the transition, and obviously, we like hearing. Okay, did you make mistakes? But was it as much of a transition? Transition physically as you thought, right? Is the game faster? Did you feel like you need to be more physical? Is the training? Do you think you need to train differently? Or for somebody like straight up, for some, you were drafted where you were because of your athleticism, yeah. because of your skill, because of your aggression. Has it been a huge transition for you? Or are you out there some days like, you know what? This really ain't as hard as everybody said it was. All three. Like, <laughs> I would say your first couple weeks, like I'm going into this, bro. And sometimes your body moves, your body don't move as fast as your mind. And you looking at stuff, and that's why they say, like, when you understand what you're doing, things slow down. But if you have no idea what you're doing, things is always going to seem fast. Right. So I say around training camp, first week, everything's just blazing fast. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking, I'm going against Zeke, Coop, Dak, like, everything quick, everything, like, efficient. And I'm learning. So I was like, man, this is tough. Like, and it, it wasn't even like, because, you know, the first week's just like it's just everything's two hand touch like so everything's mm. seven on seven so i'm trying to understand like the coverage aspect so everything's just fast and then like you get a little bit of doubt when you first get in and that, i think that was my mistake like i doubted my abilities because they said we need you to do everything you need you to rush we need you to cover we need you to do all, all three phases that's why we got you here at 12. so they had me against z tp i'm like man these guys i seen on tv like yeah they might be better than me so I was like letting them beat me because like I was, was a losing little, here. I, yeah, I, I, and then, you know, I'm pass rushing against Leia and Tyron and you're talking about the physicality. I'm like, man, like, 
I don't know, bro. This a <laughs> Hall of Famer guy. Right. Like, I don't know if I could beat him, bro. Like, you, 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 and you like, you almost let that stuff get inside your head. Mm -hmm. And then the moment you win is the moment everything changed. You're like, bro, why was I even like stressing? Stressing, like, right. I'm here for a reason. Like, after I beat Dumb, and like, I don't even see what I'm doing though. That, that was the crazy part. Like, I'm rushing, but I don't even know what I'm doing. And Randy and D-Lo, I was like, yo, like, you know what you're doing? I was like, not really. Like, I'm just going. And that was like the first thing you talk about college or advice I'll get somebody like, if you don't know what you're doing, just go. Like, you just go 100%. You're going like, to learn how to play at 100 rather than if you're going slow with it and you try and pick it up, like, everything's still going to be fast, but you just go. Mm -hmm. So I was just going. Yeah, and then, like, Tyron and Layup, it was, it was like, yo, like, Man, you should watch Von Miller. Like, you should watch uh, Robert Quinn. Like, you should watch just a bunch of speedsters. Like, you should watch them. And I started watching them. They was like, yeah, you should do this. Like, you should work at spin. Like, people going to be so scared of your speed. So then they trying to give me that confidence. Like, yeah, yeah, like, go, go, go. Like, so then I was like, man, like, I could belong here. Right. That, that's what made it click? Yeah. The, your, your teammates. Yeah. Telling you. You talking about Tyron Smith. The yeah. Big time, like the dog. Yeah. Yeah. He told you, like, watch these guys because of what you do. That that's your teammate support is what made it click to you that yeah. I'm a dog. Yeah. Cause that's think crazy. about it, nobody's telling you like nobody like this is the league now. Like you ain't gonna have coaches like, hey right. man, like like this is a, this is a business. Like nobody gonna be telling you like, hey, you gotta do this. And then like Zeke comes to me, he's like, yo, just keep running. Like, I like the way you play, bro. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, and then, you know, you saw Dak on TV when he was like, hey, that boy moving right there. Like, right. and he's like, keep going, young Lion. I was like, okay. Cause I think you gotta learn to gain, gain respect to your teammates. Right. Like, they was like, cause when I first got there, it was like, man, we done seen first rounds come, we seen them go. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, and you know, they kind of give you the shakedown as soon as you get there. So mm -hmm. like you already like on nerve. Who tried you first? <laughs> 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 I know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, it, we all been through it. Though. Gonna, uh, OG gonna try you. Who tried you? It first? was definitely like D-Law and Randy, bro. Yeah, really? like they wouldn't let me on the elevator at first. <laughs> you, had walk up, you had to walk up the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm getting on this elevator. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I get into the room and they got this fine board. And I'm talking about like, they were saying my name wrong. Cause it's Micah, they be like Mika. And they be spelling it M-I-C-H. I was like, it's M-I-C-H. They was like $500 sensitivity fine. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, oh no. Nah. So I had got like $6,000 in fines. I was like, I'm not paying them. So it's like, we'll just take your game check. That very next week, set up that direct deposit. I was like, <laughs> you make I was like yeah, you make I was sure like, you got it, huh? I was like, nah, that ain't gonna happen like that for sure. Yeah, he talked about buying your, you know, this house and having this spot for you and your mom. Uh, when you were drafted, mom said that you told her you wanted to be the best defensive player in the league. What have you done, or what what do you feel you've done to get close to that? Uh, I, I would say, I allowed my my pride and my ego to the side. Mm -hmm. As soon as D Law broke his foot, I was like, damn, bro, like we just lost D Law. Like this is our best player, and. You know, I'm, like I never like count myself into some conversation. Like I never like considered myself to be that guy. Like time be for the team. I'm young. But you said you told your mom. But you told your mom you wanted to be the best yeah. defensive player in the league. I though. tell her that, but like I ain't gonna tell nobody else that. <laughs> like you gotta keep yeah, cause like I realized like how you speak to people, people conceive it differently. Mm -hmm. So if I go around telling people I'm gonna be the best, I'm like, bro, this kid rookie, like, why he around here talking like that? Mm -hmm. So you can't tell everybody your dreams and your goals, cause not everybody gonna understand that. My mom, she raised me, she know how I'm built, she right. know how I'm trying to come off on things. But everybody else, they they not gonna perceive it the same way. Right. So I can't go around the locker room saying that. So once D Lo went down, it's like, yeah, we need you to go to DN. So now you gotta learn how to play DN. I was like, damn, like. I barely, like, I'm still trying to get comfortable at my spot. So that's why I called LeVar. It's like, bro, I don't know what to do. He said, bro, if you don't go out there and dominate the way I know you can, he said, the same shit happened to me. He's like, 
go do it. Do it and don't half-ass that shit. Mm -hmm. Do it like how I know you can do it. And that's all I needed to hear. That, so LeVar, that, just, LeVar just got into the, um, the college football Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And LeVar told you because he transitioned to defensive end. He was mm -hmm. a rush guy and you transitioned. And bro, I'll be honest, I love football. I love linebacker play. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, you're a monster off that edge. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You ain't, you ain't run off too. that, but, but off that edge, yeah. you're not what you are off the ball in that middle of that field. And for Dan Quinn to see that, and for them to, to for them to transition, D. Law getting hurt and all that, like, bro. To be honest, I'll let you know. Like, I don't know if it's you know God's will or whatever, but for to get you on that edge, the world saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How fast did it, how and fast it, did you see it? Where did did it clear up for you? Because off the ball, bro, you were good. But on the edge, bro, me, and, me to you, you were yeah. great. And it's crazy because the same thing happened to me back in high school. Um, I was a running back. I always wanted to play offense. Like, I wanted to be like Reggie Bush. I wanted to be at USC, Oregon, like D'Anthony Thomas. Like, I wanted to be that guy. First of all, you're too big to be any of those people. No, no, I heard these yeah. stories. Yeah, though. right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you walk that down, like, right. I, wanted, I wanted to tote that rock. How much you weren't? Bro, back in high school, Bro, I'm, trying, about right now. I'm like 247 right now. How you going to be Reggie Bush at 247? And hey, Anthony Thomas. I would have held yeah, my weight. Five. You know, you can't join the weight. You can't join the weight. But at, at the time, though, he probably What about Derrick Henry? What about Derrick Henry? That's the only one you can beat, though. That's the only person you can beat. That's the only one you can beat, though. Bro, off that end, though. What, what, what? Did you see it? Once you transitioned, did you see it? Yeah. And I didn't see it at first. And they said, nah, they said, you're going to be JV running back or you're going to play defensive end. I was like, man, I want to play JV running back then. I'll wait my turn. Man, they said, nah. They saw me in camp. They said, nah, you're going to be on that edge. And I was just doing things that just seemed natural to me, like, boom. And, I, like, I was just naturally good at it. And then same thing that happened against uh, D-Law, first game of the season, our starting DN, end because I was the backup, had – Rolled his ankle or something. He was out like four weeks. I came in that game in the second half, like had two, three sacks. Like, yeah. I watched it. And I, watched it. and I was like, bro. So now I was like, so then when I got to Penn State, they was like, we got so many rushers and you fast, we can just move you off the ball. Right. So that's why when people say, why did you like seem so natural? I was like, bro, I played that DN for four or five you, years before I. You even, went to Nebraska's camp, right? In mm -hmm. high school. And went there as a wide receiver. So, wait, no. So that's when I met you. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I met you at the camp. My son was at the camp. And so all the other kids doing 40s, they jumping, vert, testing. And I'm like, why this big joker just sitting in the middle of the field? The you know? Yeah, right? like he's, he's talking to the coach, everybody running up to him, he's taking pictures, all these other kids out there sweating, doing drills. So they get the one-on-ones, and he run his big tail out there and play receiver. And I was like, oh, he must go get him. He must go run a little slant, you know. Yeah, he's gonna, <laughs> big, gonna, big man, right? Yeah, big man, right? He's going he gonna to body him. Shit, he didn't eh, eh, went down the sideline, he catches the ball. My son, my son look at me, I look at him, I said, Yeah, we ain't built like that. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that, that was it. Hey, 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 hey did he, he put the sweatshirt back on? Yeah, he he's too like, crazy, yeah, he, right? He, he was like, Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. You, you know, it's like when so when you do things like that and you know, you 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 have those experiences, was this spot you're in, where you are now, one of the best defensive players in the league, did you always expect to be here? I don't. I wouldn't say I expected to be here, but I hoped and wished I could be here. And you know, I just take it all in. Like I'd be super grateful. Like sometimes it's nice to have everything, but like sometimes you gotta sit back and be like, man, I'm really just grateful for the opportunity. And you know, whether it was I don't know who gave it to the idea the Cowboys to draft me, but you know, I. But on Hey Rookie, you say it's power in words. Power, bro. I I truly believe in God. Like. You know, mm. and every time I I pray, I'm like, bro, like, why am I playing ball? Like, why you got me playing ball? And every time I get opportunity, to, like, speak like this, or you know, I got I'm getting an award for the Salvation Army about potential. Um, and potential is kind of like a word I heard my whole life. So when I heard I was getting that, I was like super excited, because mm. you know, growing up as a high athlete and. People tell you, especially because I, I will never say I was the perfect kid. I did a lot of dumb shit. Like, right. We all have. Yeah. But going back to really quick, you mentioned uh, mentorship. 
Mm -hmm. Mistakes is the greatest mentors. And that's why, and that's kind of like why I fell in the draft a little bit, because people's like, we don't know if he changed. He had, he had a little somewhere at Penn State. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, man, like, if I were to say the same person, if I was the same person at 16 as I was now, like, I couldn't say, tell you I was the same person. Like, obviously, I learned, I got a son and things like that. Yeah. So I can't say that. How was that being a, a young father? How did that change you? See, that was a big challenge for me. Cause like, I was, I, I enrolled school early, so he would have happened right as I was graduating. He got, he was born in May. And like, how old were you then? I was just turning eighteen. Okay. Mm. So that was real tough on me, bro. Like, I, cause I didn't know how to accept the fact that I was a father. I was like, bro, how am I going to take care of a child? Mm -hmm. Like. It's crazy. We know it. No. It's, it's, it really sounds like I'm mm -hmm. listening to myself talk. Yeah. I mean, from everything, from mm -hmm. having a son at a young age, for not having the confidence when you first got in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, Jacksonville considered me a bust. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some of the media did. I went ninth pick, yeah. and, I, and I didn't have that confidence. And I hear your story a lot of time because I'm close with Chad. You know, he do the... Right. So, when I'm, you know, I'm hearing his story. I'm like... Chad's my guy. A lot Chad's of people amazing. don't have the confidence, but, you know... And I think that's why it's important for coaches, because even though I would mess up, they never like was hard on me. Mm -hmm. They allowed me to make my mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I, don't, I think sometimes some coaches don't allow people to make mistakes. It is different because I was a first round pick. Yeah. Speaking uh, of mistakes and coaches, I heard you once had to do 200 up downs <sighs> for wearing the wrong clothes to practice or the wrong dress code. <laughs> how, many, how many he did, Freddie? Five. Five out of 200? No. I did the whole 200. You did 200? <laughs> 200. I mean, I'm drafted now, so it don't even matter. See, but this, the, the point I was going to make is this. Some players deserve equity. Like, he's a guy that has equity. You make an example, you pull him to the side and say, hey, I'm going to hit you with 25. Right. Just to be an example so the other guys know not to get out of line. Yeah. That's the type of coach I would be. Mm -hmm. And you don't punish your dogs, not right. to that extent. Not to that extent, right. You and know? that's why uh, Coach Franklin, like, Bro, me and Coach Frank used to butt heads. Like, they used to be like, man, I hate this dude, bro. <laughs> like, I never understood why he was so hard on me. But the moment I got drafted, he was in that draft room, because that was a guy I respected. He was the reason why I went there. I said, I understand, Coach, mm. and I appreciate you. Because them 200 up-downs, I tell you, and I, I missed part of the uh, Minnesota game. That's the reason why I started the Minnesota game okay. that year. I did all 200, but I did a man. Each more, I, each rep I did, I got more <laughs> mad and more mad. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with football. I'm done. And I left. I went home. I, I'm talking. About, I was doing up downs from the start of to the sun drop. You don't understand how long 200 up downs take. Oh, I know. Cause I and ain't never doing them. I had left. <laughs> no. I had left. I, I had left. Went right. home. I said, bro, I ain't coming back to that football facility. Like I left that practice. And. He called me back. He's like, hey, you need to come in right now. Like, if you want any chance to ever play again. And that's why I say friends matter too. My roommate, Jesse, and some other old heads came in. He's like, bro, I don't care what you do, bro. Don't throw your whole life away because yeah. you made the mistake. You you were on that water, strong stuff. Mm -hmm. No no doubt he shouldn't have made you do 200 up-downs for, you know, wearing the wrong practice gear. But you need to go back and fix this. So I put my pride aside, went back and talked to Coach. And that year when I made All-American, I was like, yo, thanks, Coach. Like, I did it. You could have you could have sat me that game. I might not be All-American right yeah. now. But I get it, though. Mm -hmm. And I never do that again. And I like people who try to do that, you know, I was in line, bro. Don't do that, bro. But, but bro, you just said it, said it. You said put your pride aside. You said put your ego aside. Is that what, because young dudes, like right now, dudes looking at you that's in college, yeah. that want to make it and see what you did and see what you did early, bro. Like what message you, would you give to them? What message would you tell that young, that young Michael Parsons that's coming out that might go first round, second round, third round? Because you done said some stuff that right now athletes don't say. Yeah. People right. don't say put your pride aside, put your, 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 right. your ego yeah. aside, bro. I think you, I, talking to you now, I never talked to you before. Talking to you now, I think you, you are beyond your age. 100%. What would, you, what would you tell that young dude? I would say, bro, be able to learn and be coachable. Don't let your ego, your pride get to you. Because I think that's our biggest problem when we're young. Like, 
if something don't go our way, we went, man. Like, but that ain't helping nothing. Right. It ain't helping nothing. And when I first got into the bus, I said, Coach Q, the best thing, because this is what I had, because I, I had got the type of coaching from Franklin and Pryor, and I understood. I said, bro, if I'm not doing something right, tell me. Mm-hmm. So earlier this week, when I told you I was all mad, like I was letting things get the best in that wall, he had three loafs on film in practice. Like I was like, practice. He was like, hey, you're one of our better players. I need you locked in, bro. This is not the example I need you to put on going into this 49ers week. He said, you get me? I said, I got you, Q. Yeah. Make sure I ain't do it today. Mm-hmm. But those are just the little things that you got to be willing to accept. Like, and I, we all hate being wrong, but you also got to accept when you're wrong. So I would say, like, you got to learn how to accept when you're wrong because we all not perfect. We all not going to do everything right, but uh, definitely. I got some stuff to ask about a young guy because I'm a young guy. Y'all yeah. got anything serious? Because I got some. No, go ahead. You got, I know you got some you questions know, you want to ask. Bro, I'm going to ask you because uh, I just heard it and I recognize that you put us in this palace. And you, you and your mom, you you and your mom live here together, right? Yeah. So when I first got to the Dolphins. <laughs> I already know where this is going, up. My mom lived with me. Go ahead, man. Yeah. But when I brought some home, I had to be quiet because I jump off the I jump off the yeah. nightstand like I was wild, <laughs> yeah. you know. I was in the pool, you know what I'm saying? I had the pool light, so I'm out there showing out. You said you had the pool light. I had a pool light. So then the girls be in the pool and you see a little silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> I got a pool. I got a pool coming in soon. <laughs> so what he's saying is get yeah. you a light, though. You see yeah. the silhouette, the light. I'm gonna yeah. bite them. <laughs> but is 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 <laughs> but but that dynamic I'm I'm messing around but that dynamic of and I think it's good I think it, it's focusing yeah but living with your mom through your rookie year is it do you have to is it a challenge do you have to strategize that because I had to strategize because I ain't want to I didn't want to see I didn't you know you don't, you don't, you don't want your mom you don't want your mama to see you don't want to I don't want to I don't want to sit because I you, sit, now I sit on the dishwasher because it vibrates so I sit you on do the gotta strategize it for sure you oh, do okay. gotta strategize it like I ain't just gonna bring like I know one time she go in her room I know what time she gonna be out <laughs> so you know for me I'd be like it's cool if you stay but when I leave you leave like. Uh-huh. You ain't gonna be sitting here, kick feet up, you know what I mean, in my room, BSing while, like, you know, my mom here, like, no, you I'm saying, go. Okay. Oh, so, so just cause your mom here. So if your mom wasn't here, you'd be caked up. You let them, you let them cake up a little bit, keep things Nah. Up. Depending don't on who fall they into that trap. Nah, nah. Even if she wasn't here, I wouldn't let that, you know, you don't know who, who, who. Right, exactly. That's what I was asking, though. Like, yeah, you can't but do that. You know, cause I also got my homeboy living with me, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. So, so he, he set a little precedent too. Yeah. But if you put them on the on the on the dryer and put a big cover in there, just one big cover, <laughs> wet cover, then it rumbles. And rumbles. <laughs> so what you say? So you talking about is that is so that how motion. you do, do you draw the sound out or you using it no, no, for no, what no, it adds to your skill? The rumble. The rumble. I'm trying to because a young guy, he's way better than me at football. I'm trying right. to teach him about the the, the, the other stuff. things in life. Yeah. Right. No, I ain't. Yeah, That's she, what elevate. I ain't worried about the noise. You know, I <laughs> I, I, I let that playlist go. <laughs> but, yeah, that, you know that playlist would be on that speaker before I let that happen. <laughs> well, so what what is gonna take for for you to one day introduce somebody to moms? Because this is a this is a different life. You know, we now we get into that conversation. Like right now, right now, Michael Parsons is Michael Parsons. Like you gotta realize, like there was a time, though your name that's always been your name, that name's different now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You there is not a con there's not gonna the, be many the, conversations. The world, the world the wor- knows you. Yeah, it's not gonna be many conversations you have where you tell somebody who you are and they either one, don't say, I already know, or I know who you are, or they already know who you are and just don't say it. That's your two options. This is going to be very rare that you're going to have the option of a woman being like, oh, I didn't, I didn't know who he was. Like, like the dude that's with Simone Biles told Simone Biles she ain't know, he didn't know who she was. Nah, he's lying. Lie. That's a lie. He's lying. That's just bite how they going to... Bite him. Hmm. Yeah, he's big lying. Stop, stop I biting know who she was. was. Stop biting Everybody people. Everybody knows. So, yeah, so, so how you going to... Twitter, how yes, you yes. Mike, stop talking home. about biting people. Stop that. You can't bite people. Well, You only bite your people. Micah, Micah. Don't you... 
Mike, you Michael Parsons. Parsons. He was Shannon. He was Shannon Crowder. Wasn't nobody was not not hard bite. Just a, yeah, Shannon. Was sucking yeah. him. Shannon. Yeah. Wasn't nobody worried about you. <laughs> hey, wasn't nobody worried about you in Miami, dog. Nobody was worried about who you in Miami. Who you can run. Me? You can run around biting people. This man can't. But no, nah, my so, mom. So I'm saying, how you gonna? But how you gonna figure out when it's that one though, dog? My mom like my homie. Right. So like, there ain't nobody I wouldn't like would not let her meet. Mm-hmm. Like this has been since but, high school. Every, but everybody can't. Everybody can't be meet mom's material though. It's see, my mom not even on that pedestal though. Like, like my mom like a ride or die like best friend. Right. So like, so you feel like moms ain't looking at them like that. She, so where you gotta yeah, try to keep she them can away. Meet the the, the flobbity wobbity and she can meet the. My man. mom's so nice though. Like my mom not you better know, super sweet. She not know like you with my son. Right. Like she not like that. Like my mom treat everybody like family. Right. Like, but that's what I'm saying. What he's saying is though, he's talking about the little fobbly wife. Like, they, 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 they don't need. They can't be treated like family. She don't even treat them like family, bro. And I try. I be trying to check her about that. But that's when she treat. Cause me. then they gonna feel real comfortable yeah, here. That's I try to tell her about that, and she'll say, they never did nothing to me. I don't care. I like, like she she's just like so homegrown. So, to me, like, if you could like have a good relationship with my mom. And like chill and be around everybody, that sounds a personality and character to me. So mm-hmm. I probably want somebody to meet my mom because that let me know, like, my mom tell me, like, I really like her. Like, she got good, good head on her shoulders. Right. Like, you can always tell, but those who have, like, well, they too good says, for yeah. it is always the ones that's like the flag up mm-hmm. to me. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, because my mom, like, is like, Every like personality is like everything I would want in a, my future wife, like hard oh, working, awesome, like man. independency, like you know, uh, shit's like she's just a ride or die, bro. That's cool. So for me, like my mom definitely gotta be at the table like from the beginning. Best, she got the best. Cause like, why I wait so long to find somebody, and then be like, damn, mom don't even like her for real, like. You, so you a star though. You talking about him homegrown, bring him, bring him home. He wants you to put him on top of the washing machine. Yeah. Washing. Y'all still got the White House around here? Mm, no. Nah. You ever heard any stories the about legend. the White House? Yes. But I told them we should get one. No. So you want to no. get one? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Micah, oh, no. no. Yeah. No, that's when they were winning championships. Yeah. Those games were winning championships. That's when they was winning championships, bro. That's true. I know. From what we hear. I said we just rent a property out, bro. Platform, bro. It was a day, successful platform. It's not a successful. Look what platform. Michael Irvin no, is now. No, it's successful Smith, people. Troy it's Smith. successful people being a part of We're an in unsuccessful a different time. platform. We got these Brian. now. Yeah, we got these but, now. You, you could control these. Check them at the door. Yeah, Derek you could control Jeter. these. Listen, do you understand, bro? Derek Jeter, right? right? You understand what you're telling him? Hey, Ryan. He real, said he said he went to the rap. White House. I'm trying to tell you. You talking to do it about the right way. you was talking about pool lightings in front of yeah. mom. She probably so looking at the window like not in front of mom. Well, if she look out the window, she got yeah. to she she do what she's dealing with. She too know. But because I had a teacher at a but Atlanta one time. Like, think about it, like, no matter what, there's gonna be these. Right. And no matter what, there's gonna be these. So people gonna talk regardless. Like. That's like you say, like when you was when you was in your prime, y'all in your prime, like you hit, oh, I just hit friend. Oh, I hit, I hit, I hit, I hit. People going to know, like <laughs> when I first came out, when you turn it up and yeah. you on that NFL page, I'm talking about you start getting videos, news, all in your mm-hmm. DM, all type of freak stuff. Talking about when can I see you? Like, mm. I want you. Mm. Uh, okay. That's yeah. what happened in the DM. Yeah. All types hey, we of washing. That, we wasn't that good. No, that you, yeah, because that's defense. That's that's rookie defense player of the year. Yeah, you, you, you know good. what I got in my DM? <laughs> Let me hold two hundred dollars. Oh, I'm like, easy. I can't, I hey, can't I, get those I, I done got them. It. I done got them, but I don't, I don't even waste my time responding. I've never been like a type of guy to like uh, consistently want to deal with new chicks. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Like during the season, I probably only mess with about one chick, mm-hmm. and like I always been like a one chick type of guy, and like you know. If I'm not in Dallas, I'm a relationship guy. I'm gonna step out. Like if I'm only out for two days in LA or Atlanta, I'm gonna step out for those two days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like I always been a one girl type of guy. Like I ain't never been like a smart. 
you know. And, you know, during the season, like, you don't really want to deal with all that, bro. Like, me. You ain't got the time. You don't. But I, that's why I think uh, I, I like that my mom here, she kind of, like, helped me keep me focused. Mm -hmm. And my boy here, too, like, and you got the right people around you, right. you can have a whole lot of success. Right. You got people that just want to be around. Like, I don't want you. You just want to be around. Like, yeah. That's that's what I got my dogs for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like people just want to be around you. When though. you say your dogs, you mean like actual four? My actual animals. dogs, like the dog dog, the yeah. ones that been barking out there. Yeah, yeah. like those are my babies. Mm -hmm. Like your babies? Oh, he ahead, bro. He ahead of his way time. Way ahead of the oh, game. Oh, he's one of us. bro, you ahead of your time. Wisdom, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I can like, tell you, you ahead like, of your time. I said, Mom, listen. When I come home. I don't want to hear about no autographs, no football. This is my personal space. That's why I live 30 minutes from the star. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, I wouldn't want to live out here if you know I wasn't going to have my own peace. Yeah. And I think that's a good advice. Like, You should have your own peace. I'm mm -hmm. 30 minutes from downtown. I'm 30 minutes from the star. Like, I'm in between everything. Mm -hmm. And that allow you to, like, you could uh, decide, like, a 30-minute drive. Right. If you really want to be in it, you got to think about it. You got to drive. Like, you right. like, bro. I'm like, I have, like, yo, should we go downtown tonight? It's our 11.30. Uh, we only be out there for like 12 hours <laughs> right, right, and a half. Right, right. Like, right. Let's just chill in the house, bro. That's real, He's better than us. Because you used to get in the car and go? He's better than us. You better than us, when, when you, So when you got your spot in Miami, how far were you from all of them? Uh, 45, but I make that drive every night. <laughs> oh, man. That, 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 that's why he is a future Hall of Famer. And I'm not. And like me, I don't really like the light. I'm just, you know... You know, I, I don't really like a whole bunch of people in my face. Right. Like, that, to me, it's, it's just, it's too much for me, bro, because I know people, gonna, they're going to be like, hey, Micah, like, mm -hmm. they want, everybody want to meet you, everybody, right. like, there's always an agenda to, like, why somebody wants you somewhere. The one thing that I've learned is, like, we can't say yes to everybody. Can't. Right? And you, and you can't be everything for everybody. Right. And also, what happens is, the better you get, which you will, like even as, as great as you play this year, you'll play better, right? You'll, you'll become bigger, you'll become smarter, right? People will want to pull at you even more and more. How are, how are you going to handle that success and what comes along, along with it as far as the, the, the people that that brings into your life? That junk gets toxic, yeah. right? We've seen so many, especially here, bro, we've seen so many people start off the way that you start off and then allow the life to get to them and shorten a career or keep a f career from being Hall of Fame? What things are you putting in place now to make sure that's not what happens to Michael Parsons? See, and that's why I think you got to have a lot of humility and be humble, bro. Like, and that's when we say wanting more. Like, if this is all you want, if being defensive rookie of the year is all you want and you damn it, you did it, bro. Like, it's like kudos. Like, I always look at it like kudos. Like, and, you know, it, was you was it you Ryan? I was listening to you talk, bro. When we when we was at uh, when we was at B Will's uh, bowling event, mm -hmm. I can't and remember if I, if I did it. You you was telling people you was like, it's easy to get there. Like when you when you talented, it's easy to get there, but the hardest part is to stay there. Mm -hmm. So when you said that to me, I was like, oh snap! He just dropped the jewel. And that's why I was telling somebody the other day, I was like, all right, bro, like, I did this this year, mm -hmm. but how can I do it next year? Yep. And that's the key. So when you said that to me, I was like, bro, like, he just dropped a, a, a gem. I don't know if anybody else picked up on it. Yeah. But that, those type of quotes, like, always stay in the back of my mind. Uh, when I came in, Q and Rob was like, the best ability is availability. Right. If you're not available, what, what is your use here, bro? With that said, what's your routine like? We all gotta have a routine. Yeah. I always try to tell people. So, I got I done. I've been doing the same routine since college, really, bro. When it hit around like Saturday, I got a contrast. I gotta get another stretch in like yeah. Saturday. Saturday and the day of the game is like my biggest days because I get another massage on Sunday just mm -hmm. to make sure everything loose, any knots that's in there, and all I gotta do is sustain them before the games. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, because all I did was go to the strip club Saturday night. <laughs> I don't even go to strip clubs. You don't even go to strip clubs. I don't do strip clubs. And you... you Chad, everybody don't have to go to Cause strip clubs. Because, bruh, bruh. That, that loosens me up. That, that gets my knots that, out. That shit don't piss you off, bruh. You spin, but can't bite. I need something that's going to just be easy. <laughs> <laughs>
But that, but that precedent I've seen it with uh, I seen it with a bunch of guys. Zach Thomas did it, and all the guys that set the precedent of it. But that's crazy for you to be so young and have that precedent right. set. Yeah. Also, bro, you look at you look in the locker room, bro, and you go up to Tyron Mike. How you send a lead? And then like you know the coaches, the strength coaches always talk to me because I'm still in that 6 a.m. lift group. And, the, and that's the rookie group. <laughs> I was like, Coach, can you please switch me out this group, like. I live 30 minutes away, so I'm, I'm waking up at like 5 in the morning, bro. Right. Like, I'm tired. He was like, Mike, you don't get it? He said, look who's in here right now. The early birds is the ones who last the longest. So I look around. I see Tyron. Yeah. I see Zach. I see Dalton Schultz is in there who's really having a good year. I see all these, like, veterans. Yeah. Veterans yeah. in there. Right. Yeah. In the early live group. Right. I ain't never say nothing after that. He above his, his You're ahead of the game, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. All I want to say is, one, appreciate you letting us in your home. Nah, y'all always welcome, bro. I yeah. always tell people, y'all lucky. If, we would have we, we beat you in Scrabble. If too, we had bro. more time, I'd have had my mom cook for y'all, bro. We'll come back for that. Oh, no. I'm hey. going to stay back there in that yeah. room right there hey, with after, the after you win the Super Bowl, <laughs> hey, after y'all win the that. Super Bowl, man, we'll come back for the second interview. You know, she, got, she, got, she got that homemade dinner she love to make for people, bro. Oh, y'all come, bro. Like, What's your favorite dish from your mom real quick? Man, I love that soul food, mac and cheese, yams, the collard greens, mm. the fried chicken, bro, the cornbread, the See, stuffing. I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Do oh, vegetarian? you can't live here. Your first off season, what's your first stop? I'm going out the country, bro. Each off season, I'm going to go on one big trip because I want to go to Greece. Like, I want to see Ibiza. I want to see uh, Madrid. I want to go. I want to see stuff that everybody can't see. That's all dope, but if I can tell you anything, Keep the first thing, the main thing, the main thing. Main thing, the main when the thing. season's over, just don't shut it down. You won't regret what up, though? No. Oh, the my goodness. Big Mike. <laughs> the playmaker. And I feel good saying this because all y'all are that? my boys. <laughs> you heard me? I am yeah, going to father here. You got to go. I'm coming to Dallas without seeing me first. <laughs> I am going to father. Uh, let up, me get boy? this off your shirt, man. What's up, man? What I got on? What's, what's, what's up with you, what's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, what's up, dog? How you yeah, doing, I know, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, man. Hey, I ain't seen you since that time we had dinner together. That time, that time. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, know yeah you know what I'm saying. You know, you know. Hey, that boy still look good, man. Yeah, I got Mike in the house now, too. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right you oh, got a legend right, in the house man. now, man. Right, what, what you doing down here, man? What you mean? I'm We were shooting, uh, Dion and I was shooting this commercial called Trash Talking. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's Trash Talking commercial. But it, and it's, 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 it's a neat commercial because we're talking trash, but it's really talking trash. Like right. recycling. Oh, I got you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're talking trash yeah. to each other, but right. we're really teaching right. about the trash. So. So it was pretty. It was pretty cool looking. See, man, we right, talked. Right. We was talking to Michael though about like this is the time, right? Like you, Michael Irvin, because this of what y'all right. did right, right, in right. January, right, in February, right, you right. Know what I'm saying? So you excited about the playoffs? You excited? For and, and this was perfect. This was perfect because when I first met this Joker, I'm doing. I'm, we, we, we remember that draft. I'm up there on the red carpet. The first thing he took, so, I'm gonna be like you. I said, Oh, look at this Joker over here. Look at this Joker over here. <laughs> right. What is I this right here? Right. 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 Joker talking to me right now. Right, right, right. right. He said, yeah, he just said, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you right now. I'm like, okay, right. this is what you were talking yeah, about. This is yeah. It really is. This is the moment, man. Right. And I'm telling you, because everybody, man, that's it, what, there, there, you know, so many games going every Sunday. Right. But now, ain't nobody playing. It's just you. And if anybody watching, they got to have their eyes on you. Yeah. Right. And, and, and you got that moment. To make moments, man, it's the greatest thing in the world. And that was one of the big things D. Word was saying. He said, "Bro, I don't even care if y'all lose." He said, "By the end of the game, you they better have said Michael Parsons balled up." Yeah. He's and like, I was talking to him yesterday. About yeah. D. Word was dropping some gems yeah, in there. We Both of y'all, that, y'all as yeah. America's team. Yeah. You were a Cowboys fan. They don't know about all that. They don't know. They, 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 they don't know. They're talking about the White House. Yeah, he think, oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mike. Mike. He said he was going to go back. Mike. 
You got to hear from the blueprint. My CTE acting up. <laughs> Wait a minute for a moment. I don't, I don't know nothing you're talking about. But, 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 my CTE but, acting but, up. To, to you start shaking it. Hey, you start shaking it, man. Listen, man. To a young bull. Man. Is it more pressure when you playing for Cowboys, the America's team, Jerry Jones? You know All of that is, is yes. Is All of that is yes. yes. But all of that is good. It, you, you, it, it ain't. It ain't. The pressure is bad. Is how you see the pressure. Right. You know. That's how you have to measure. The, the pressure going to do one or two things. It'll make the good fold, but that's the great focus. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. take those moments and make those moments. Mm -hmm. That's what he was talking about when he said, "I'm be like, I'm gonna make those moments." That's right. what he was saying. I'm going to make those moments because that's, that's what we talked about. That's what people remember. They right. remember these moments, dog. And if you can do it on this level, boy, for the Dallas Cowboys, all I'm saying, I don't like it. Like, how, 25 how, how did years, like, I'm still eating on that. Like, how, how, right. I'm still eating. How did y'all life change, though, once y'all went right from, from struggling, you get you, you get Emmett, right. you get Troy, it, and then you start right. to win those things? What, it, how different was it around? It, it, it was it was hella different. Now, first of all, when we first got here, you know, when we first got here, we took this from 3 and 13, 1 and 15. So it was, right. dude, I'm talking about you, you when you're hiding, you were naturally hiding. People say, man, Mike Minsky, I said, man, I ain't going nowhere. Right. We ain't going to get eat nowhere. Because people going to come up to me, man, what's mm -hmm. going on with y'all, man? I'm the first round big. I'm saying, I'm hiding around this right. thing, you know? But when we turn that thing, dog, it was the traveling Beatles, boy. Mm. I'm telling you, every city we went in, no joke, no joke, every city we went in, we had to put a fake route in the paper, the fake hotel, and you had to come up in the back. And somehow they still found out where you were. <laughs> I don't know how, because they were still there, man. It gets crazy all over oh, the country. Man, it, it, all over the country. Everywhere we went, it was like a home game. Yeah. yeah. Huh? That's, that what, that's what that is, man. That is I mean, real. it's the second best organization in football. So, you heard what oh, I told you. You know what I told him? Yeah, what's number one? When, when he got you, I stop playing, man. Stop playing with it. I told him, man. I told him, just like I told CD the year before that. I said, listen, man, listen. Hey, hey, hey I want to hear that. Y'all don't fall to Dallas. You must be chosen to land upon this ground. You were yeah. chosen yeah. to land upon this ground. And grace have landed. Just make sure you be great, too. And, and, and you have done that. Yeah, so you think, you think about it, you, you said that right, though. CD, they thought CD was going to right, go right, before right. they went. Dude, all of them. Obviously, Michael, they thought Michael was going to go right. before they went. I said all I said all, all year, especially in the draft, they were lucky because they wanted the corners. Yeah. They were lucky them corners went because they got the best defensive player in the draft. Dude, God, bro. Man. God, man. man. And it's crazy. Yo, y'all know it's Aeneas Williams, bro. Yeah, yeah I love him. Mm He's -hmm. great dude, man. Mm -hmm. Man, y'all don't even understand how powerful God is, bro. Like, that man touched my soul before the draft. Oh, he's oh man. man. Bro, like. That man is great, dude. Bro, he made me cry, bro. Was he speaking somewhere? Or that, no. Uh, bro, I, I didn't even know who he was when I met him. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in an elevator. I, bro, I swear to God, I can't find my homeboy. I can't find a room. I'm there. It's draft day. Everything supposed to be going right. But everything seemed to go so wrong at the same time. Barber, I'm trying to find where the barber at. So I get on this elevator, I was like, bro, I find out, finally find the room where they at, I text them, I'm on my way. I get in the elevator, he's like, Nance Williams in the elevator already. He said, where are you from? I was like, from Harris Rupert. He's like, where'd you go? I was like, I went to Penn State. He's like, oh, you're the linebacker. I said, yeah. He's like, what's your name? I was like, Micah. As I'm getting off the elevator, he was like, you're going to be great. Yeah. I, I know it. Like, yeah. I'm like, who is this dude? I was like. But you know, I'm thinking some random fan, like, so I'm walking, and everything in me said, turn around, turn around. I turn around, I said, hey, hey, wait, 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 what's your name? He's like, my name is Nia. I was like, why, why, why are you say that to me, bro? He was like, I saw you in the airport on Thursday when you landed. He said, God put it in my heart to read the book of Micah three days before I, I, I met you. Yeah. I said, what? Oh, yeah. mm. I said, what? Mm. Like, how's that? He was like, That's great. he was like, you gonna be special, bro. He was like, and I, bro, you know how you meet just one particular individual and you just seem to like That's open your, your whole book of your life? Yeah. So I'm talking, I, and I told this man about things I did when I was 15, 14, I'm talking, he's like, cause you a listener. He's mm -hmm. like, you thoughtful, bro. He's like, That's gonna take you some place. Yeah, but he's bro. like, everything that happened to you, bro, he's like, 
everything's going to be okay. He's like, God wanted me in this elevator with you. God wanted me to talk to you. And when I said, where's that power? I was like, bro, I want to go to Dallas. And everything, those two corners wow. fell, and I ended up in Dallas. And I said, bro, like, it's been, it's, and it's he been hugged me, since, and he prayed for me, too. Like, yeah. when, I was, when I was leaving, he was like, bro, I want to pray for you. And my homeboy that I was looking for the whole time walked out of that room. He said, you know him? He don't know him either. He said, I said, yeah, that's my homeboy. He said, I felt him. Keep him around. He has a good spirit. Wow. I said, what? Right. Aeneas is a good man. Great, a great dude. Great I said, man. Great man. I said, great man. man. I said, what? I said, I'm like, man, bro. Like, so anytime, like, anytime I start to like get a little weird, like, I text. I was like, man, how you doing, bro? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, got his number, bro. That's a person like I really like. No, he's like that. Man. He's a yeah. He yeah, when when you no talk great. to him, you can you there's can no see great. you can feel that it's different. You yeah, can no see great. that it's different. But he had that spirit the whole time he played. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this is do HBCU. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm don't drafted. slip. Yeah, he's a go. bad boy now. So he's 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 go. I put him through hell, and he just kept coming back. <laughs> <laughs> no joke now. You know, Nia's and I, we came in. Mm -hmm. We worked, you know, Nia's followed the trip. Man, I mean, I put him through hell. And every year after we play, I'm talking about in the game, I'm snatching, boom, helmet right. down, pulling on me. Like, you know that's legal. <laughs> I ain't say nothing. Put <laughs> down, you know. But he Earl, kept coming who back. Who the toughest one you played, Earl? What do you mean? Like, who the toughest DB you played? <sighs> I just left him. Dion was the best now. Dion was the best. You know, my, my mentality was simple. It was, I, I was going to attack your weakness to beat you and your strength to break you. Yeah, so, so if I got a smaller DB, I can, I can attack him with physicalness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if I get a bigger DB, I can kind of beat him with a little quickness because I had a little quickness. But if I got a bigger DB that you want to talk noise, or I'm going to play him twice a year, yeah. I don't want to just beat you. I want to break you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so I would attack a strength. So yeah, yeah, it was definitely, definitely Dion, because Dion, Dion had he, he had all, he had all the gifts. Mike, right. was it a back and forth with Dion, or was it a, a, a domination? Well, it, it's it, it's so funny because one of the lines in the commercial was, you know. Just to make sure you do know, I, I won three and you won two. Oh, okay. So it was a nice scene to Dion. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Dion's my boy, man. I'm so happy for him, man. He, he, he's a bad boy. But all yeah. of them, man. You know, he, I, I, I Daryl Green. I go and speak yeah. with Daryl Green now. All those years, all those bad them do, do listen. I act like I ain't like him when I played against mm -hmm. you, you know. But Aeneas would see me every offseason, because you know, it was early on, at the Red Lobster. You know, we ain't really. Y'all went to Red Lobster. Red, Red, Red Lobster? Red, Red, From the Red White House Red. to the Red Lobster? Oh. <laughs> me and my, me and my wife, biscuits. we ate yeah, every Tuesday. Right, we yeah. ate every <laughs> Tuesday night at Red Lobster, and that's when we run into a deal. I was like, God. But he's a great dude, man. He's the best dude in the world. You should ask him about it sometime. But he's, he's the greatest dude in the world. He's man. a great dude. Yeah, he's the greatest dude. Mike, you, know. you play for the U, right? And then you come to Dallas. Like, that's the most... Y'all obviously yeah. made the U what it was, right? Yeah. And, and, and Dallas had a story history, and then they, 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 they weren't as good. That's how you get the draft picks that you got. That's how you get the triplets. You know what I mean? When you look at those two experiences, which one do you remember the fondest of? It got to be Miami. It got to be. Well, the U was different. No, uh, bro. I don't know if you. I don't. Did, did he? I don't know if, if, if Micah did Dallas like you did Dallas. Oh no! Yeah, he, I definitely did. <laughs> hey, he had to wish for that. Nobody, nobody did that. Y'all gotta remember, we still battling COVID. <laughs> right. Right. Y'all like that. So right. everything right. Right. not even no, fully listen. open. So right. when you go right. somewhere, you yeah, only yeah. getting in like half oh, yeah, 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 yeah. or like yeah. half altitude. Like you ain't getting a full yeah, ain't Dallas. Well, you know, you know when Mike, you know when Playmaker played, when Playmaker played, they they got COVID tests before coming before coming see them. They made sure they did. But it's a lot of the question from the standpoint of where you are personally, you know, and the kind of fun you have. College was fun. Right. It was fun, man. Supposed got some money when you were in college. College was reckless. Money was fun. College was reckless. College was like dumb. Like dumb. Right, right, right. Like, right, 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 like, right, right, right. Man, we was just going to the frats and little bars and you just getting you just right, get stupid right, right, drunk, right, like you don't right, even care what happened at the end of the night. Yeah, you're right, right. But when you get here, you care about what happened at the end of that night. Yeah. Too much money investing now. They're like, they wouldn't got the table. 
I said, I ain't get this lit just to go home solo. You know what I mean? Uh, like, <laughs> 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 hey, 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 we didn't we did spend too much money and had too man, much too drinks, drinks. Right, 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 yeah, right. We ain't going right, home alone. Right, right, right. And you know, it's wrong. different, bro. They skill positions, bro. Go there ain't the no record. love like some running back and receiver love, bro. No, Unless you're a see, quarterback. See, you ain't got no well, game, because I was a linebacker, too. <laughs> no, no, no. Shannon, why do you keep acting like you had so much game, though? I no, do have no, game. No, no, don't, like don't, don't, don't say and that. not just on the field. You we, talking about game. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Yeah. 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 The 
you, you, Jerry Jones, that's your man. You at the uh, Jerry, game. my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. usually working. I don't get to see him as much as I would love to. Because I'm to, usually working. Yeah. To have, you know what to, I mean? To have Michael Irvin sitting in your, your living couch. room, bro. Like on your couch. You, and you a Cowboys fan, And you the future. Up. And you, you were there. And I know yeah, you watched. Like, like, what does this mean, bro? It's crazy. Like, I'm excited for you to just to have this situation. Like, what does this mean to you? Bro, in the moment, I'm just like... I mean, I'm just enjoying the conversation, yeah. but when I look back on it, when I see everything, I'm like, bro, I just I had Mike in my living room, yeah. bro. Right, it's crazy. Ain't nobody gonna be able to sit special. there, Big Mike. You gonna have to? <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Hey, y'all good. Somebody sit there and say no. Big no. <laughs> Mike sat there. Just play make a scene. What you saying? Just play make a scene. What you saying? It, it, the dude is something special, man. Yeah. And, and 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 it radiates up off him. It really does. You know, when you see him, like I talked about when I first saw him at draft, man. I'm gonna show you. This is the text I sent to Stephen Jones, May 7th. I'm gonna let you read, read that text I sent to Stephen Jones. May 7th, yeah, after. This is when they draft the mic. Boss, this is a blessing in disguise. I love the corners like Sertan, but I think especially on defense, attitude and connectivity is most important. I knew the attitudes and personalities of the corners and none, none is capitalized, y'all, all, all big letters. None of them had what Micah brings. Mark these words, buddy. You will see. It's something special about this kid. Spirit that reminds me of me. Now we just have to make sure to keep the right people around him yes. so he makes the right decision. Yes. Love you, boss, and keep up the great work. Yeah. When, and it's May, he, it's May 7th. It's May 7th. He ain't right there today. Bro, May yeah, he, 7th. This is, that's, that's what this I see. That's, that's legit. legit. That's, real. that's real. That's when you got drafted. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's something different that, that you need in a locker room to do it. And it's like I said in the text, with de defense, it's about that connectivity and let's go get it dog together. Yeah, and you yeah. need players to do that, bring that together, man. Yeah. That's why this dude's been incredible. And, and that's the thing that, you know, we're kind of battling like with D-Law and them. Like now, nah, D-Law ain't my teammate no more. He a person I know I got beat like. Yeah, it's it's right, the teammate, right, 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 but right. I know I got beat D-Law. Right. Because D-Law going to try to beat me. Period. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not even to the quarterback. Who gonna be the more dominant player? Period. Yeah, I love that. Like, it's Period. Not even, yeah. like, That's what y'all supposed to be it's, doing. It's, and you say, think D-Law was okay with that when he's sitting on that couch watching you? <laughs> Everybody's talking about Michael Morris. <laughs> like, he was hey. trying to rehab. I got to get back. I got to watch I got to do my spot. I got to do my Like when Trey get a pick, I don't even get excited for Trey no more. Because he know what's on the line. That's what he's supposed to do. Like yeah. our, The stakes is higher now before me and Trey. I'm like, bro. For every sack and a half, that's one pick. You know what yeah. I mean? Who gonna win the bet? We just make little side bets on the side. Cause right. at the end of the day, like, as much as it's good being a team and supporting each other, like you gotta have that competitiveness inside the right. room. Right. Yeah. Period. Like, like, that's right. what I'm saying. With Scribe, I'm not playing just for fun, bro. Right. I'm playing to beat the brakes off you. <laughs> right. I don't want you going and saying, oh, I beat Micah. I, this ain't charity. Right. I, I get this that. between the homeboys. Yeah. Right. And I think now, like, the room is all homeboys. Yeah. 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 Like, cool. and I and then you know, D Law got good like leadership qualities. Like yeah. if I'm silent, he's like, yo, Rick, you like, you gotta be talking. Like, it, it is hard for me because like, especially early on, like you don't realize like the type of impact you had. Right. And like who, like, why are you out there for real? Mm -hmm. like, I think I'm just still out there playing. Like, I'm just out there to play, you know, collect my check on Thursday. And you know, if I have a good game, I see about it, I hear about it, everybody say, hey, good game. But no, nah, they, you know, it's different when people try to rely on you, and you like, man, I, I'm not ready to step into that role yet. Uh, you know, you, you're gonna go to another level yeah. when you realize, and I don't know if you've done it yeah. yet, but when you realize that the opponent fear you, when they study, they're trying to neutralize you because yeah. you can spark the entire defense. And when you get that in your head, that you're the main man on the on the scout report, your game goes to another level. And Coach, Coach George be trying to tell me that all the time. He's like, how your preparation? I was like, Coach, they preparing for me, Coach. Mm. I said, I'm ready. I'm ready. Don't even worry about it. I said, because Coach, and you know, I said, because I won't sit here and lie and say I'm the greatest practice player in the world. I won't sit here and lie and say I'm the greatest. Like I said, I struggle with the film. I won't say I'm the greatest at anything. I know when them lights is on, mm. you can count on me 110%. I'll never put us in a position to lose. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to go out there and ball out. I don't care what's on the table, if I, my hand be messed up, my quad. If I could just go, I'm going to go. 
Mike, as, some, as somebody who, who, who loves the Cowboys the way you do and understands the star, how does it feel when you hear something like that from a young what, star? What, what, what we always talk about, man, and, and it's all, we, we've all been handed things, you know, we've been handed a gift, man. You play with Pittsburgh, yeah. man, there may be four of you that build yeah. it to what it was, and, yeah. and, and you and stepped in, I got I to gotta represent, I'm, yeah. I'm carrying the ball right now. Mm -hmm. And you want to monitor these jokers that's carrying the ball. I can go something back here, hey, joker, don't be fumbling this ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't do something with it, you know what I'm saying? So I love when I see somebody that has that, mm -hmm. that has that, that like you talk about, dude, if you're going to protect Scrabble, I know you're going to protect the star. I know well, you're going right. to protect yeah. the legacy. <laughs> yeah. I know that it means something to Straight. you. You know what I mean? That's what we all looking for. That's all. And, 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 and all the things that you accomplish, you really want, I, it, it, if you do it right, you want to see the people step on that and go do more. You know what I'm saying? I want you to step on our ceiling and make it your floor. Mm -hmm and go take it up and do some more. Yeah, right. That's the bottom line, and that's where the joy comes from. And Mike, is, is there is a lot is a lot of Michaels out there? Because no. I know you came old school, and now no. you're working through, and no. now you yeah. see the young no, boys. No, 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 no. But what y'all got? No, no, what the no, no. what 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 no, no, the no, no. Dallas Cowboys have in him? Is right. it a limited amount of guys that have that mind frame? Limited? No, it's less than limited. That's how limited it is. It, is. it really is. It really is. Yeah. To have somebody with the physical gifts. But football, I would say, is two elements. Even though we always measure the skill, it's really the skill in the will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since we have hand-to-hand, man-to-man combat, yeah. most people in this world get to the top of their field never facing another man. They're on a the computer, they're doing all of their jobs. Yeah. We, only way to get to ours, we got to look at another man's soul yeah. who wants it, but I gotta say, not more than me. Right. I gotta take it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That that's the difference, man. So so this will is yeah. as good as all his skill. Yeah. And I've seen millions of dudes with skill, but don't have the don't will. Have will. Yeah. And they won't get there. It's, without beautiful. It. it's beautiful. That's why and when they say I'm cheating, I say, what are you willing to do to win? That's it. Yeah. Cheat back. That's it. That's it. Do what Cheap you got to do. Do what do you got to do to win. win. That's what you got to do to win. I don't care what and it is. Do what you got to do to win, win, Ryan. Yeah. That's all we talking about. That's all we talk about all the time. Yeah. That's all that matters. Well, what fellas, are you going to do to win? Well, fellas, listen. I want everybody to win. But your boy got to go. As a Pittsburgh Steeler, I must admit, you know, it's a, it's a little bit too much love for the star going on. Uh, <laughs> But we blessed with, obviously, yeah. a Dallas Cowboy great and somebody we all see mm -hmm. that's going that way. So, man, we appreciate And a future great? Yes, I said. Somebody yeah. we see going the no same doubt. way. No doubt. And we just grateful, bro. You let us in your house. Always happy to have we a family, playmaker. bro. Hey, and the next time, though, we're going to finish this Scrabble. Oh, yeah. Without y'all having big hey, fan, hey, man. Hey, but I love your story, just, bro. Let me say, let sure. me just, I, I, I need to show that's Mike it. my word. That shit is okay. so Can I show Mike my word? I want to show yeah. you a word. No, because no, no, it's no, my no, turn. No, no. It's my turn. That's my word right here, Mike. Hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch, this is going to kill him. <laughs> Stripper. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Let's take this picture, Hold up. Limitless. Take a stomach, I'm it. I father here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling, got me up. On the mission, got me up. Knowing me, I got the key. On this vision, I can trust. Trust. Limitless. Take a stomach, I'm it. I father here to witness it. Got my people feeling militant. Way I'm feeling.